And after nearly 10 years, one of the most successful video game franchises is set to return with a new release. Rockstar Games, the creators of Grand Theft Auto, released the trailer for GTA 6 today. And fans are already talking about the scheduled release. Just take a look. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. All right, joining me now to discuss the new release and what's changing in the video game industry is Gene Park. He is a games reporter and critic at the Washington Post. Thanks for joining us again. So this, a portion of this trailer was leaked, so then they, Rockstar just decided, okay, fine, we'll just put it out. But the game actually isn't coming out until 2025. But based on the trailer, what have we learned about the game? What are people talking about? I think a lot of people, the first reaction is by Florida residents. They seem to be really, really astounded by how accurate uh, uh, <laughs> life in Florida seems to be depicted with gators and, you know, like unruly neighbors <laughs> and the quote unquote Florida meme, Florida man meme that seems to be represented well throughout the throughout the, the trailer. That's hilarious. And as I understand it, one thing that it seems like is that there's a female character that you can play, which I, I don't know much about Grand Theft Auto, so I'm assuming that that's something new as well. Yeah, uh, right now the understanding is that there are two characters, uh, Jason and Lucia, and Lucia it will be the first female protagonist. Uh, she's a Latina, and uh, it's basically going to be a Bonnie and Clyde type story, mm. uh, in, it's basically taking place in the modern day. So, it's, so other than having a female character that you can play, everything else looks pretty much on brand for Grand Theft Auto. Hi, kitty! Um, <laughs> Everything else looks, I have a cat too who loves to be on camera. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, it's on brand for Grand Theft Auto. You know, fast cars, uh, scantily clad ladies, uh, guns. I mean, you name it. It's like, you know, a basket of, of sinful behavior, vice, a basket of vice, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. Yet this franchise endures. And, you know, they haven't made sort of, they've made a handful of tweaks in regards to some of the criticism over the years, but basically it still remains one of the most popular games out there. Why is that? Uh, mostly because, well, Grand Theft Auto V was once called the most financially profitable single entertainment product of all time. Uh, it is the second most uh, best-selling game of all time at, at 190 million copies. And it sells basically uh, very well month to month uh, to this day. And part of that is because of Grand Theft Auto Online, where mm. you basically are able to live out uh, your own Grand Theft Auto life. Uh, in Grand Theft Auto V, it, it was a facsimile of Southern California. And people have been playing that for the last 10 years. Uh, a lot of people role play different roles. Uh, you can pretend to be, you know, a, a shopkeep or a hotel worker or something. And other people might be the cops and robbers and stuff like that. So, I mean, Grand Theft Auto has really expanded to not just be about just the criminal uh, element, but right. really just about American life in general. And that's what pe that's what people are drawn to. Fascinating. So really quickly, just talking about the gaming industry on a whole, I mean, obviously there's some blockbuster games that make a ton of money, but we have also seen layoffs recently in the industry. You know, what's at the center of that? Does generative artificial intelligence, is that, you know, is that going to help or is that going to be more challenging for the gaming industry? That's a, that, those are two very loaded questions. Mm. Uh, regarding the layoffs, uh, you're going to start to hear a, a lot more about union movement um, as more work awareness is happening in the industry. Uh, it, it seems like a lot of the roots uh, is, you know, hire, over hiring, especially during the last uh, three years during the pandemic. A lot of people kind of overshot uh, uh, what, mm -hmm. what they should be spending. But also in terms of, you know, the massive profits that are being uh, kept by the companies, which is why you're going to be here a lot more about unionization uh, going forward uh, throughout the, the various different video game shops. Uh, much like uh, the, the I mean, we're probably going to, in a few decades, we'll probably hear more about you know similar strikes and happening, to, just like what we experienced just in Hollywood. Yeah. 
yeah. in terms of AI, uh, there are there is a lot of debate on how much AI could help in terms of developing video games. Right. Video games have always had, had AI ever since Pac-Man, of course. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of making a game, all right, you know, oh man, the, Gene, I got to cut into you. We're running out of time, but I think we should sure. pick this up. And the union conversation, I think, is fascinating. Uh, Gene Park, thank you so much. Thank you so much.